Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination, this side Prince. So in our last lecture of Maven series, we discussed about how to create our first project using Maven in IntelliJ, CMD and Eclipse. In case you are not familiar, how to create a Maven project, I would request you to please check out my previous video, which I'll be sharing in the i icon. And in today's lecture, we will try to understand Maven directory structure, which is provided when we created our first project. So without further delay, let me jump on to IntelliJ where we created our first project, right? So when we create Maven project, it provide one pom.xml, right? So this is the core of Maven project, right? So let us try to understand it, right? This is XML file. So this is how we write the XML file. It start with question mark XML. So we don't need to understand this. So we are going to use model version as 4.0.0. This is provided by Maven itself. This is the information of interest. This is the group ID that is the organization identifier, which we discussed in the last lecture. Artifact ID is the project name. And as we will be working on this particular project, right, regularly, so we can maintain the different versions of this particular project, right? So for that purpose, we can use version section. And this is properties section, right? And as we work in Maven, sorry, Java. So what happens is we need to compile the Java code and then we need to trigger that Java code, right? So here what we are defining is we are defining that Maven compiler plugin would be using JDK 17 to compile the code that we have defined in the SRC section, right? So now the next thing which Maven has generated is SRC, right? SRC stands for source, okay? And under SRC, we have two sections, SRC main and another is test, right? So if you observe under main, we have two folders. Similarly, under test also, we can have second folder as well one is test another is resources so i'll simply type in resources and it will appear here right so now both the structures are same right now let us try to understand their purpose step by step okay as maven is utilized by developers as well as testers so let us try to understand it from the development perspective and then from the test automation perspective right so this is the folder structure that we have just discussed src main java resources and src test java and resources under main we have two sections and under test we have two sections so when the developers work or use maven they write the application code in src main java and whatever the resources or additional files needed by this source code they are defining it under the resources section and test section they are utilizing to write the unit test cases and resources section they are using for utilizing the configuration files needed by this particular unit test cases right so this is how developers utilize this particular directory structure if i talk about from the test automation perspective so when we work in test automation we don't have access to the source code meaning development source code so we can utilize this main section as well as test section for the automation framework development and how we can utilize it so src main part we can utilize to write the core part such as the driver manager and core utilities and we can utilize resources as well for the additional known java files needed for this particular core part similarly this test section is utilized to write the test related files such as pages test step definitions and features right what is this target so when we execute our code using maven so it generate some temporary files during the build process. So we will try to understand this one as well. Now we have understood this. Let us try to understand from development perspective first and then from the test automation perspective, right? So how it look like in case of application development, right? So this is the application development directive structure. So as we just discussed, we have SRC main and SRC test. And under SRC main, we have Java, which contains the application source code and we have resources as well so resources needed by the application source code such as configuration file right similarly if i talk about src test it contains the unit test cases to test the above source code that we have developed right and this is the resources needed by this particular unit test cases it could be test data or configuration files right so far we are clear now let us try to understand test automation directory structure right so in case of test automation, as we just discussed, we can utilize SRC main as well as SRC test for the test automation as well, right? 
meaning the entire structure can be utilized for test automation. So in SRC main Java, we can write the core component as we just discussed, like driver manager, core utilities, and global constants, which are applicable to this main as well as test. And resources are used to write the configuration file or JSON needed by these core components defined in this particular Java section. And if I talk about SRC test, it contains test scripts, pages, test utilities, step definitions, and test constants. So these are the constants that we are defining and would be applicable for this particular test section. And the sources section contain the test data, feature files, if, are, if we are working in BDD, configuration files, and locator sets, etc. Right? Main thing is whatever we are defining in main, that is accessible in test, but whatever we are defining in test, that is not acceptable. Uh, accessible in main right so this is how we can understand how the directory structure look like right now we just discussed about the pom.xml so pom.xml is a core of projects configuration level and it is a single configuration file that contains the majority of information required to build a project right it should be in the root directory as we just observed right it is under the root directory right and here we can define project or dependency details so this is what we have just discussed so we can define the project details so uh, we'll be discussing about dependency how project is a dependency in the next lecture right and then you will understand why i have written project or dependency right so we can define dependencies which are needed for this particular project so for example our project would be dependent on external libraries such as selenium test and etc so we need to define those dependencies in this form.xml itself we can define plugins such as Shopa plugin, compiler plugin, etc. We can define profiles as well in pom.xml, right? So this is about pom.xml. Now let us try to understand what is target folder. So target folder is a default output directory Maven uses to generate the artifact such as compiled source code and test code or reports, right? And it can generate many other files as well. So these are the temporary files which are generated when we trigger the build using the maven commands so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current lecture thank you for watching and in next lecture we will try to understand how to define dependencies how they are downloaded from central repository to the local repository and we'll try to understand central repository and local repository concept thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you